Hey guys, this is another Best Ants UK educational video on anti ant farm with the Campanotus nicobarensis ants. This is one of our newest ant farms, the Anti Complete Setup. It comes in two options, Anti and Anti Plus. Both options can be equipped with a pre installed heating mat on the back of the nest along with a digital temperature control unit. Find out more on our website. We have tested every single ant farm with the common beginner friendly ant species for three years before launching it onto the market. Look at all that brood, lots of eggs, larvae and pupae. Because the ants temperature and humidity needs are different and we're building our nests according to that particular requirement, the vertical and horizontal nests are designed differently. The hot and cold airflow inside the nest is essential as well. For instance, the queen ant chamber needs different conditions than the first brood stage development chamber, which is also different for the second brood stage, etc. We have accomplished the test observation with Laziest Niger, Laziest Flavors and Harvester Ants, Mesa Barbaris, successfully. The testing with the Campanotus ants began in August last year and will continue to March next year, so a year and a half in total. The colony was small with the queen and only 11 workers at the time we moved them into the setup. You can see that just 6 months later the colony has grown a lot. There are around 50 workers now with another 50 on their way. Nicobarensis is a fascinating species from Asia that will captivate both beginners and enthusiasts. These ants are renowned for their rapid growth making them a popular choice among ant keepers. Often found nesting in rotten wooden trunks, these ants are known as carpenter ants. With their easy maintenance and higher climate requirements, these Campanotus nicobarensis ants are a delight to care for. Maintaining humidity levels around 50% in the outworld and 60-70% to in the nest area ensures optimal conditions for these ants. Temperature wise, keep the outward between 21 and 35 degrees and the nest area between 24 to 28. So keep in mind that you will need an extra heat map for the outworld. The best part about these ants is that they don't hibernate, making them an excellent choice for beginners looking for low maintenance pets. They thrive on honey, fruits, and various insects like locusts, crickets, and mealworms. They come in two variations, monogen with a single queen per colony or polygen with multiple queens depending on their origin. Here's something new to learn, Nicobrensis imports from China are monogen and those from Vietnam, Thailand and Malaysia are polygenous. The queens are around 15 to 16 millimeters, have a robust thorax and can live up to an astonishing 25 years in nature and around 15 years in captivity. The workers display polymorphism with sizes ranging from 6 to 12 millimeters. They share the same reddish brown color as the queen. Feeding these ants is a breeze. We raised the entire colony on protein jelly mainly as we upgraded its formula recently so it's suitable for long term use without the need for any other food. No more live food or traditional carbs are needed. For the last month the colony has had a large locust weekly plus jelly three times a week. The ants are doing just great as you can see. So in general, that is all. Fresh water supply all the time, carbs and protein rich food. And your patience of course.
you can find tons of ant keeping helpful information on our blog page. Link in the description. Now, enjoy the rest of the close-ups. Oh, 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 oh,